This is my gray tree frog terrarium. Um, this terrarium houses five gray tree frogs, three spring peepers, two American toads, baby ones, a redback salamander, a blue spotted salamander, and two wood frogs. Um, I'm going to be showing you what this whole thing looks like and some of the different frogs I had. If you've seen my other video, Grey Tree Frog Feeding, you've seen their old tank. Well, I switched it out twice to get it to this one, and then I had to change something, which I'll tell you later, and it took me like three times to try to fix it. Um, first I'll show you my tree frogs. First, as you have seen for the last couple minutes, a minute or whatever, there's one back there. He is, like, the biggest tree frog I have in here so far. And he's got really good coloration on him. So. And then I've got a littler one right here. Um, let's see. A really nice green one up here. It's a little bit smaller than the bigger one. Um, let's see. I've got that little toad in the back there, which, which I don't think you can see. He's right there on that tubing in the back. Um, I also got another tree frog, two more, but I can't find the one. It's probably hiding somewhere that's really good. But, oh, there he is in there. Let's see. You can kind of see it in the back there. You can see his face in that little house. But, yeah. Here, let me show you the... Blue spotted salamander and the other tree frog. This way. So first, here's the other tree frog. He's right there. It's right there. And then there's a blue spotted salamander which has dug a burrow. You can see his head right there. It's really cool. And so those are my tree frogs and the one toad. And now I'll show you the other toad. It's kind of in the back there. I don't think you can see him though. He's like black. Mm -hmm. Kind of see his head sticking out like right up there. And I have two wood frogs, which you can't really see, but it's hiding under that log over there. One, there's one, and then the other one's hiding in the back there, which I don't think you can see it, but yeah. And then there should be a red back salamander right there. Right there, that golden stripe right there, you see, is the redback salamander. So. And then I have three spring peepers, but I don't know if I can find them because it's really hard to find them. They're so difficult to see. But yeah. So everything in here that's plant wise is alive. So, besides the stuff that's on that little house there is fake, but, you know. Um, I've got some live moss right there in here. Got some in the back and up here. So, first let me explain where these, what things these are. So, first here's the 
water dish or a pond right here and it has a filter and a stream which I'll show you in a minute the blue tape up there is because the frogs at night when they step on it it rips the lid off so yeah there's a bridge right here and then there's a stream up here there's a little 10 gallon pump I put in there and it goes under this bridge which is a tree and it comes out through this under this rock and this is the thing I had to keep changing because the water kept emptying out to the bottom of the tank because it would come over the thing over the end of it and then out of the water bowl so I had this is a piece of gutter now but it works pretty good took me three times to actually fix it for now and yeah so first it's up a hill as you can see there's this is the top forest layer and then here's the middle section where it gets more like wetter and then it goes all the way down here to like a a swampy marsh area and then back here is a tree thing I got from a fire wood place well my friend gave it to me but fire he kept firewood in it so I asked if I can have it and it keeps the cords from being seen you know um, and then there's that I really think the waterfall or the stream is pretty neat and then they can sit in there and then I don't have to really worry about putting water in the cage anymore besides misting everything down once or twice a day and then checking the water level on this so yeah so let's see if I can get a whole thing oh yeah the size of this tank is 55 gallons it's got a screen mesh top and two light bulbs or lights and then yeah oh yeah if I if, if you have if you're make, gonna make one of these I recommend that you have something that covers up the back because the cords it makes a, a little gap open and you don't want it to let the tree frogs out so you got to figure out something so that they can't get out so, yeah, and, yeah, the water bowl is really cool because there's rocks coming in and out of it, and there's in the bottom, so then this way they can't drown, and they can easily get out of it, so, and then up here, then it goes down, and then, yeah, it's on a wooden stand, and everything so yeah plenty of hiding spots plenty of fresh air in there because of the plants and yeah took me about like four days to actually um what was it make this thing so yeah I hope you enjoy the video and Bye.